All right, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. The topic of today's segment is going to be corporate versus airlines, the great differentiator. Um, I've had some people ask me, uh, you know, just for some general career advice about, you know, whether I should go down the corporate track, whether I should go down the airline track, you know, what's, you know, what's better, you know, and the, the answer, you know, right off the bat to tell you is that, you know, neither is better. And I want to tell you guys and girls out there that are coming up through your flying that, First of all, nobody knows what's best for your career except you. You know, what works for other people out there might not exactly be what you even want with your life. And, you know, in one of the last segments I talked about, you know, you have a habit of, you know, when you get on the, the pilot forums and stuff, sometimes it can be um, a little bit opinion swaying uh, to hear different people talk about, you know, in a highly negative or highly positive light, e light even, uh, their opinions on, on each given career track. At the end of the day, you know, nobody else is living your life except you. And you're the only one that has to be happy with your decisions, your career choices and all this kind of stuff. So um, that same thing goes for me. You know, everything that you hear on my channel and everything that I tell you guys, I mean, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. It's just, you know, it's just that, it, you know, my opinions only. And that's certainly, you know, what I'm talking with you guys today about is just passing on, you know, one general opinion that I have on this topic matter. And, um, you know, we, we could also say that, you know, of course, you know, both these jobs at the end of the air, end of the day, they're flying airplanes, which is just awesome. You know, you're, you're going to be happy, you know, if you truly love to fly. I mean, doing that job in either of those capacities will yield you, you know, a, a huge amount of job satisfaction. And, you know, this is certainly not at all um, a, a giant, you know, contest or a, um, a pissing match, let's say, about, you know, which career track is better. I mean, they both, you know, the, the corporate pilot job lifestyle will yield certain amazing things that the airline career can yield and, and the same goes, or excuse me, the airline career can't yield for you and the same thing goes uh, for the, you know, the vice versa scenario. So the only thing that I'm, I'm just trying to communicate with you guys today is just in my mind, the, the great differentiator between a corporate career as a pilot and an airline career as a pilot. And that differentiator is just this, um, at the point in time in your life when you start to place more value over um, life control over anything else, I mean, that's, I think, where the airlines, um, you know, kind of shine. And, and like I said, that's where I draw the line in the sand because um, at the end of the day, you know, at a certain point, you know, all of us love to fly. You love going to cool destinations. You love, you know, getting to do the certain things that you do, you, you like to do, you know, with regard to each one of those jobs in specific. But as I said, at the end of the day, you know, the corporate pilot, for the most part, you know, this is not all gigs out there, but a lot of them, I mean, you're really paid to be at the disposal of the owners or the customers. And, you know, you, you're kind of have to um, indefinitely, you know, work your life around that type of schedule. And, you know, it's great, you know, if you're young, you don't have a lot of strings or, you know, maybe even if you are an older, you know, person in life and you just, you don't have the need to, you know, have that same level of control in your life uh, for whatever reason. I mean, the corporate, you know, flying job absolutely can be amazing. But like I said, when you start to cross over into that point where like, you know, your time becomes the most important thing to you, even above and beyond the, the financial gains and the, um, the experiences that you might have when you're on the road and you're, you're flying these jets and doing whatever you do, um, when that, you know, becomes the, um, you know, like I said, the most important thing to you, that's where the airlines really shine because, you know, you can certainly control your schedule to a huge degree. You can kind of be as busy or as not busy as you'll want to be, you know, to some extent. And you can pick up flying, you can drop flying, you can trade, you can drop, you can do all kinds of sort, you know, different things. Um, when you get a little seniority, of course, that once again, you just, you cannot do in the corporate side as readily, let's say. And, you know, I've, I've had jobs both in corporate, my initial stages of my career, you know, I, I did several capacities on the ground and, you know, various corporate stages. And I was actually a charter pilot, you know, before I went on to the airlines. And I, a lot of my good friends are still doing the corporate thing. And, you know, we, we often talk and we, you know, we, we kind of measure up and compare to see, you know, where each of us are at and see what our experience is like and, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, that's just the, the thing that, you know, we both kind of as, as adults, you know, this year I'm 36 and, you know, just at this stage of my life, I would not trade anything for the world, um, this life control that I'm ever to, able to have over my schedule specifically. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys today. Hopefully uh, that just adds a little bit of something to your decision-making matrix if you're trying to figure out which way to go with your career. And uh, as always, um, really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like what you're hearing and seeing, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. All that kind of good stuff just helps me out immensely. So I uh, hope you're all having a wonderful day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.